Hi everyone, it's Tisha. Welcome back to another episode of Life With Feet. And I'm so glad that I could be here with you today because for the past couple of weeks, actually the past couple of months, I've been really busy with school and I'm so grateful that Jessica really understood and she really understands that for me, school came first and that I really needed to finish up and get my bachelor's degree, finish up all my projects and tests. And here I am now graduated. Um, I have my bachelor's in fine arts, which is amazing. It took a really long time for me to get there, but I am just so happy that it is over with and that I can continue on with other things. I missed you. I missed you guys a whole lot. Some amazing news though, while I was getting my bachelor's degree and finishing up my senior thesis project, I submitted it to a business competition, which I really didn't think I was going to get through because how would a graphic design student get in through a business competition? But nonetheless, I won first place with my senior thesis project, which is a platform to help people with disabilities get jobs. So I'm so excited about that. I won $15,000 on it and I couldn't wait to share it with you guys, but I had to because there was just so much stuff that was going on behind the scenes that I couldn't film. Uh, but now that it's over with, I can share with you all the amazing things that happened along the way. Also, I just wanted to point out that these flowers behind me here smell amazing. I never thought that I would be the kind of person that could smell flowers because like if I have a rose and I want to like smell it, I like shove my nose into the petals. And you know, I could never really smell flowers, but uh, when the wind blows, I actually I can actually smell them, and apparently Zoe can too, because she seems to enjoy going over there and smelling the flowers. Speaking of Zoe, I got a new dog, the new addition to my family, Zoe. So uh, my friend came from Florida, and unfortunately she was visiting, and she wasn't able to take Zoe back with her. Jared was like, "No, no, we need." We can keep her like it's okay three dogs is like maximum uh but she is a sweet adorable little dog she's a, a beagle mix i think with a pit bull but we're not exactly sure she's definitely beefy uh, but she has just been an amazing dog to train and be around and she loves being outside so as soon as i open up the door she is just running around and playing with brandy and Brandy is just excited to have a friend around. Um, so that's basically an update of what's been going on in my life. And I really want to thank Jessica for holding down the fort and being able to understand that uh, there was just some things that were unavoidable. And you know, I was like staying up till like two o'clock in the morning doing these projects and finishing up my degree. So it has been a really tough road and again, Thank you, Jessica, for posting your videos and sharing your life with everyone when I wasn't able to and keeping the channel alive. Now that I am here, I'm going to try uh, for the next couple of weeks, just make as many videos as I can. Um, some additional news is that this coming up month, I will be having hip surgery, which is really scary. and. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna go because, you know, I use my feet for everything. So I talked to my doctor and he says, let's do it. Let's get the hip replacement done. Uh, you're basically immobile now. So not being able to bend past 90 degrees isn't gonna hurt you any. And, uh, but I won't be in any pain. So um, this is gonna be a huge adventure, just starting over and learning how to do everything all over again so i'm excited to share with you that experience and uh hopefully you guys <laughs> are down for the ride because it's gonna be a tough one all right so that's it for this video uh hit that subscribe button ring the bell do all the things that you need to do in order to keep up with notifications on youtube and i will see you in the next one